Hey guys, it's me, Pi. I'm back with another video today. Um, I just want to start off this video by saying, by giving a, a big thank you to Plain Truth, aka the COD father himself, and uh, it's kind of fitting I have some Call of, old Call of Duty gameplay in here. Um, but I just want to uh, thank him for his uh, kind words after uh, I watched a uh, video of his about uh, Wings of Redemption and how that he needs to improve, that Wings of Redemption needs to improve his life and all that and all that stuff and uh really got me uh thinking that uh hey i need to start improving my own life here and uh, i really appreciate his your uh kind words bt so if uh you if you are watching this uh thank you very much um so but i want to get into today's video topic uh it's the problem with tesla honestly um i've been seeing this a lot lately especially as the price of gas continues to skyrocket and um, and the fact that our own government thinks that thinks that saying, hey, just go and buy an EV, a fifty thousand dollar electric vehicle, and you'll save all of your gas money uh, as a solution. Um, but I think it's uh, I think the biggest and most prevalent problem right now is obviously the price of gas, and that's not coming. That's it's come down quite a bit. And recently, but that's because the price of oil is starting to tank along with everything else because we're heading into a recession. But um, the problem with Tesla itself really seems to be isn't really the cars themselves, but it seems to be the people that buy them and how the company perceives itself. Tesla owners always seem to think that they're so much better than everyone else just because they drive a Tesla and saving the, the environment. Um, well, newsflash, you're, uh, you're not really doing much to help the environment, not to mention that the batteries themselves, just to mine all the materials for the battery, cobalt, lithium, that's a hell of a lot more damaging to the environment than buying a gas car. Not to mention, to even charge a damn thing, you have to plug it in, you have to plug it in and, and uh, charge it using the electric grid. And what does the, our electric grid use? Yeah, coal, fucking natural gas. Like, you guys aren't doing shit to help the environment. But, um, anyways, I digress. Uh, this, uh, the biggest, the other issue that I just loathe Tesla for is that they perceive themselves as a tech company. Actually, they are listed as a tech company. That is why you can buy a uh, Tesla from online. You can buy it directly from Tesla because they're, they're classified as a technology company, not a car company, because in most states, it's actually illegal to uh, buy a car directly from the manufacturer without going through a dealer first. But um, yeah, so it's, well, it's true to a certain extent that, Tesla's, that Tesla may be a uh, quote-unquote technology company, but it uh, you would also have to start you, like if you're gonna say that you're gonna have to start considering companies like GM and Honda tech companies too because they're always developing, pushing and pushing forward new technology within their own vehicles as well. Um, I mean, I, honestly, you guys have taken a look at the new uh, the new uh, Z06 from that's coming out, the new uh, Corvette Z06, but that's got some pr they did some pretty interesting stuff with that motor just to get that 650 naturally aspirated horsepower out of it. Um, so to say that uh, Tesla is a tech company and not a car company is kind of stupid. Um, and, then this, like, and then this leads to the other problem with the buyers is that all the buyers seem to be like tech guys who think they're investing in some sort of revolutionary product and that they're not buying a car. I remember seeing a uh, article like a long time ago when the Model Y was announced and uh, people noticed that it was sharing a uh, lot of parts with the Model 3, and then there was an entire article explaining part spinning on, like, Gizmodo. And, um, and I'm thinking to myself, what the hell? These guys have never heard of part spinning before? Because every automaker does it. Every automaker does part spinning. But in sharing parts with other vehicles, it's a way to cut down on cost. But, yeah, like, it, I, I can't. Like, I ever see myself driving a Tesla either, but yeah, it's, <laughs> it's got to be the biggest issues and most prevalent issues with, the, with Tesla. And now, say what you will about Elon Musk. I actually like Elon Musk. I respect the dude a lot. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video, and I will see you all in the next one.